They are anonymous figures of ice, but for everyone that melts, it represents a life lost. Today, to commemorate the First World War, the hustle and bustle of Birmingham came to a stop, as people came to remember, reflect, and place a sculpture. For Pam Brooking and her family, this was an opportunity to honor her grandfather, Captain John Osborne Walford. So troubled by the horrors of war, he took his own life. He's never been recognized on any war memorial. And to come here and be able to put something tangible down and think of him is just like sort of magic, really. And looking around here now and seeing all these absolutely amazing sculptures. The artwork was masterminded by Brazilian artist Nelly Azevedo. It's called Minimum Monument and has been shown all over the world. Today's exhibition with 5,000 sculptures is the biggest one ever done. It's taken weeks to prepare the tiny frozen figures, but within two hours, they're gone. I'm extremely touched with the turnout today and with the people of Birmingham. I'm really, really touched. It was very moving. And then my husband has been in the army for 22 years, so he remembered a lot of his comrades that have fallen. I had a grandfather in the First War that obviously I never knew, who doesn't have a name, doesn't have a name grave, and he was killed on the Somme. So uh, it's something to look at. It's quite spectacular, I think. I think it's quite unusual, and uh, I, must admit, I thought they were a lot bit smaller than I thought, but uh, no, I think it's uh, a great exhibition. Just literally stumbled across it, but they look fantastic. It's more moving than I thought it would be, and I put two sculptures in, and it's really special to be able to be part of it as well. As you can see, these ice sculptures are starting to melt away, and very soon the whole monument will completely disappear. But the people behind this project say you don't always need a physical and permanent structure to look at to remember the sacrifice made by so many. Joe Black, BBC News, Birmingham.